Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christy, and I am a second-year homeschooling oh, mom, mom. mom. to five kids. And today, I am going to take you along with me on a typical day in the life during the winter with this crazy group right back here. I am hosting this collab, and it is going to be everybody's take on what a typical homeschooling day of the life looks like during winter. We all know that you are more indoors during winter, so people might have some good ideas on how to keep your kids occupied during this time or special activities that they have planned. So be sure to check out the playlist down below and watch everybody's videos. I'm sure there are going to be tons of great ideas and behind the scenes of how people make their homeschooling day work during the winter. It is fun Friday today. My husband is off of work today. Uh, so it'll be nice having him home for this and we have a fun day planned for fun Friday yeah. So without further ado, let's get our day started All right, so here is our fun Friday to-do list. We've got the not so fun stuff first We're going to do a spelling test today. No, I like spelling tests you like spelling tests? I want to do it. I do too. I was I was a spelling person when I was young. Um, and then we're going to play a couple of games. And we're going to do a fun Valentine's Day art craft craft kind of situation. So that'll be fun. We've got homemade granola bars. We're going to cook and bake and do some bacon. Does that sound good? Bacon. <laughs> We're going to do some science. We're going to learn some more about our bones. We have some music and then we have wild robots. So I'm going to go ahead and get these kids spelling tests done and then we are going to play some games. So let's do it. We have been using the Evan Moore spelling and it has been awesome. I really, really enjoy it so far. So the kids get a list at the beginning of the week and then all throughout the week they have different worksheets that they do to reinforce the spelling of the different words. So on Fridays, I just go ahead and quiz them over the lists for level four. We've got 18 words and then I also have a couple of bonus words here. So we are going to start with Kaylin. Number one is attach. A, B, C, A, C, H. Good job, yep. Number two is wear. And also, if they get anything wrong, I just attach them to the next list. Bacon. Okay, go ahead. Number three is sandwich. I love a big sandwich for lunch. Never fail tomorrow closing in this fast in we live in a house <laughs> good job is he is crying pretty loud now I All right, so we are going to play a game of Monopoly Junior. This is actually my first time ever playing Monopoly Junior, so I have to read the directions here. But yeah, we're gonna play a little game, and then after that, we'll do some art. Get by. Oh, now I 
and then I am going to get them set up with yellow spot sun. We are going to work on these Valentine's Day hearts here and there's a vi video tutorial that goes along with it. These are printouts that go along with it and then this is the example of the artwork of Wassily Kandinsky's artwork and it's going to kind of be modeled. <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing? This is gonna be modeled after this kind of painting. So that is what we will be working with. We're gonna be working with pastels today. Oh, well, my internet decided to not work today, so we're doing it on my phone. And Valentine's Day coming up soon. Why not do some heart-themed color study? Um, pieces of artwork, so that we can have fun. I think I am actually going to get myself a cup of coffee and join the kids in on this art project. Here are our Wassily Kandinsky paintings. I think they all turned out really cute and we are just letting them dry now. So this one is Maddie's, this is Elijah's, this one is mine, and then this one is Kaylin's. So we had a lot of fun with this project. Now we're just gonna go ahead and have some lunch and... <laughs> well, Kaylin's gonna have some lunch. The other kids are underneath the house with Derek. He's insulating some of our duct work. So um, they're under there with him. And so we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then after we come back, we'll go ahead and make our homemade granola bars and do some science and some music and then read The Wild Robot and we'll be done with our day. Winter is kind of tricky in Indiana. We never know what kind of weather we're going to be getting. The kids have been doing a lot of sledding lately because we've had a lot of snow. But today is like in the negatives, so it's really, really cold and they can't go outside at all because it's just dangerously cold out there. So anything to keep their little hands busy is always a win. So I encourage you, if you are in this season of just snow and cold and lack of going out consider doing a fun friday it's so nice it breaks up our week we don't have to do book work the only bad thing we have to do is a spelling test but that is done at the beginning of the day and then the rest of the day is just games and art and fun stuff like our science and music and it's just a really laid back welcome day in this season of life. So I encourage you, if you don't have a fun Friday incorporated in on your school schedule or any day, it doesn't have to be a Friday, it could be any day if you wanna break it up in the middle of the day or the beginning of the week even. Um, just having a fun day where you're still learning, still doing hands-on things with the kids, but it isn't anything super structured. Uh, I totally encourage that, especially when we're all kind of going stir crazy in the house during the winter. We are finished with lunch. We are actually running super late today, but hey, it's fun Friday. It's an all day thing. 
Um, so now I am going to round up the kids and we are going to make a recipe. This is the book, a complete cookbook for young chefs, 100 plus recipes that you'll love to cook and eat. And this is awesome. It's from America's Test Kitchen. And today we are going to make homemade granola bars. Yolk Don't get the egg yolk in there. Don't get the egg yolk in I'll put it back in there. <laughs> no. no, don't get the yolk. Don't get the yolk. Okay, that's... Okay, Maddie, maybe I should do this. Even though we both say the same Now we're just going to be putting these in a 300 degree oven for about 40 minutes. And so while these are cooking, we are going to go ahead and move on to the night. So we incorporate science in on our fun Fridays. The kids really enjoy science. So I figured it would be nice to do it three times a week since we enjoy it so much and we wanna get in all the science that we can in our week. So as you guys probably know if you've been following my channel, we've been using God's Design for Life for our science curriculum. And we decided to go ahead through the human body. Yeah, that's the bones that we put together. So today we are learning about the names of the bones. And we got these really cool human body activities. And I'm just going to have them do these little sticker activities as a fun little addition to our studies today. So here is the bone part of this activity book to go along with the bones that we are learning today. Oh. Uh, that is your shoulder bones Mom, right there. Is this like a adult bone one? Yeah, but everybody's body looks like that, whether you're an adult or Look a at kid. Look at the cracks on it. Crack, crack. Oh. Yeah, yep. That's okay. So, like when a baby is born, mm -hmm. that is separated in their head. That's why he, Jack Jack has a soft spot because it was separated so that he could pass through the birth canal. When you get older, it all fuses together.
pooping. We just finished up with science and now I am actually printing off our music. I am going to be real with you. I did not have anything planned ahead of time for music. We I do squilts off and on. I am not completely 100% sold on it, um, I think only because it's not easy for me to teach music. I'm not like, I don't know, I don't know music stuff. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to say it. But, um, so, I've just kind of been bouncing back and forth between different things. I do really, really love these composer studies that I found. Here, let me see this for a second. That's mine. Off of Teachers Pay Teachers. These are just little uh, foot books and we look up information about these famous composers. We listen to some of their music. And so today we are learning about Sousa and I think this kind of goes along with our little American themed week that we've been having. So um, I think this will be really good to learn about Sousa and fill in that music times. Like I said, maybe I'm just not doing, I can't do Squilt Live because our internet is so spotty out here. I can't commit and pay for something that requires internet access in order to use it. And so that's why I haven't done Squilt Live. I think if I signed up for Squilt Live, it would make it so much easier, but unfortunately I can't commit to it. So if you guys have a music curriculum that you absolutely love, that is easy enough for somebody like me, like a layman to teach, <laughs> um, please comment down below and let me know because I am still kind of on the lookout. It's not that I don't like Squilt. I really, really do like Squilt. I think it is a great curriculum. It's just hard for me to teach it for some reason. And I don't know if maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe my friend Megan from Pennies and Salt can just come teach my kids. Megan, come teach my kids. Okay, love you, bye. Musa began his career playing violin and studying music theory and composition under John Esputa and George Felix Banker. His father enlisted him in the United States Marine Band as an apprentice two works by him. One of them is The Stars and Stripes Forever. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be all This is what they look like after. Here, I'm going to turn this off. No. So this is what they look like after we put them all together and as you can see you could just peel back each of these that we cut out and you can see all of the little facts about them. The kids like collecting them. So this was a fun free resource off of Teachers Pay Teachers if you were looking for something to do with music. These turned out super good. We didn't let them cool all the way though. So they're falling apart. And also we didn't use all the ingredients that they said to use, so I think that's why ours are falling apart a lot, but still delicious. Can be here with you. Everything's alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here.
just wrapped up our homeschooling day, so we are going to call it a day here and play another game of Monopoly. Which is hot. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this day in the life. This is typically what a winter day looks like for us, and this is a frigid cold day, so the kids didn't even get to go outside to, to sled today, which is typical when it's snowy out. But yeah, when we're in the negatives, definitely staying warm in the house. So be sure to check out the playlist down below. Like I said, I'm hosting this collaboration, so be sure to check out everybody else's videos in the playlist down below. You're going to love everybody that has participated in this collab. They are wonderful ladies. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have so much more homeschooling content coming to you guys very, very soon. And I will catch you guys later. Take care. <laughs> Hi. Whatever anybody blah, 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 blah. That makes zero sense. So I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. Okay. Gosh. I, I am the worst. Like I, I am what a year and a half into this, almost two years into this, and I'm still the most awkward person on camera. I know. You gotta let me do. Look well, cool, everybody. Why do you have to look so creepy? <laughs> because I am. You look so beautiful, and I'm so lucky to be yours. Can you take it?